So what did you predict? Let's look at what Hovland and Weiss found and see if it's what you predicted. On this graph, you can see the amount that participants were persuaded on the y-axis. The larger numbers are indicating a greater extent of persuasion. On the x-axis, you can see the two times that participants were asked about the practicality of building a nuclear-powered submarine, immediately after the message was presented and four weeks later. The blue bars refers to those who thought the message came from a source high in credibility, and the green bars refers to those who thought the message came from a source low in credibility. You'll notice that in line with what Hovland and Weiss expected, immediately after the persuasive message was presented, participants were more persuaded by the communicator who was higher in credibility compared to the communicator who was lower in credibility. Interestingly, four weeks later, the picture changes somewhat. You will see now that participants were pretty much equally convinced by the message about nuclear-powered submarines, whether it came from the communicator high or low in credibility. Why would this be the case? Hovland and Weiss called this the sleeper effect. They thought it was due to two processes. The first of these was discounting, which is when we give less weight to a message from a communicator who's not very credible. Discounting happens at the time the message is presented. The second process was dissociation, which is the uncoupling of who the communicator is from what they said. Disassociation happens when there's a delay between when the message is presented by the communicator and when participants' attitudes are measured. The sleeper effect is obviously a concern when we're thinking about contexts such as election campaigns, advertising, and even jury trials, where people have to retain information for an extended period of time and then make a judgment based on this information there is the possibility that we can be influenced by unreliable information without realising. In essence, if we can understand the message, who said it doesn't matter so much over time as we forget where the message came from. What about another communicator factor that advertisers really love using? Let's try another activity.